I trust that her info that she's gathered is good. She's a little power hungry, but I love her. The salvage team has recovered the remains of your Omega-4 relay probes. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh, survey info. I don't really need any of this. I have so many resources. All right, nuts, what you got? Research terminal, upgrades. Wait, more? I mean, these are some things I can get. I mean, I guess why not? Look how much money I've got. I don't think I can get any more of these. Oh, I can get this. Yeah, why not? Okay, can't get any of that yet. What else do we have? Ooh! It's a lot of- Oh, but look how much element zero I've got! Yes. Thank you. Alright, the question is, will you be reading any of the book's comments before playing Mass Effect 3? If that's where they go in the timeline, then yes. Um, I do want to consume the media that is relevant to Mass Effect without spoiling anything. So if somebody would be so kind as to like, let me know what the titles of the things I can read and look at are, I'd be happy to do that. I would be. All right, let's do this. I need more biotic damage. I mean, I one shot people ahead of time, but I mean already, but yeah, in the discord, please. Because if we, if we put it here in chat, I, I won't be able to come back for it. So if you do want to contribute to that list, please do so in the Discord. Thank you. The band. Damage protection. I'm about that. Palladium. Got so much money. I mean... I don't need it. But, I got money. Let's just get it done. Trauma model. Unity heals your squad to full health. I thought it did that in the first place. Oh no, Fuzzy, you're totally fine. You're totally fine. It's okay, everybody in this community is super, super generous, so honestly, you hang around long enough, somebody is bound to gift you one anyway. <laughs> All right, I need to stop swiveling. Oh, it was half half, all right. Well, now it's full half, because we got money, money, money. Tech duration, what is this? Ooh, element zero. I've got so much stuff. See, Zarg, there you go, look at you. See, everyone in this community is really, really, really sweet. Like, this is the best one. <laughs> all right. Let's get all this. There we go. Now, why can't we get these? Shotgun damage, sniper rifle damage. All right. So I think we need to buy those. So, I mean, like, ugh. Aww. Is it Chikiko? Am I saying it right? Or is it Chikiko? Let me know if I say it right. I care about pronouncing your names correctly. Oh, are you gonna give me the last sip of your boba? I'm not supposed to be having sugar, but. Oh, it's not enough. I can't get it out of there. It's okay. I appreciate the thought. You're sweet. But he gave me this look like Chikiko? That one? It's 
<laughs> Alright. Okay. Chikiko. I will remember that. I don't think we need these. We already healed our shit up. Oops, prototypes. Don't need another one of those. Heavy skin weave is nice though. And another one. The fuel cells are nice, but let me get everything else I want first before I bother with it. Krogan shotgun. I mean, why the fuck not? We have so much money. I know you guys really like the cane, but I probably won't use it. I'm just buying Copper things because I've got 3%. money. I sold your stock before tomorrow's market crash. I feel like that's kind of a uh, but that's okay. Is that insider trading? I don't want to retrain. It's iridium. And a missile launcher. Okay, just making sure. So the retrain power is advanced. I've already done this. I do have my bonus power. Weird. All right, that's fine. So we need to keep an eye out for shotgun and sniper damage at the stores. Okay. Oh, and we were supposed to go back and do these now. So, we've got a million and seven monies, so... Oh, what, baby? Hey, goodness. You very suddenly needed to leave. <sighs> All right. We'll just grab these, because we've got money. One more. Done. Yes, I have my bonus power. It is, uh, shit, what is it? It's number six. Can I get my stuff out? No, I can't do it here. Um. It's the one where it chunks you into the ground. Yeah, slam, thank you. So, armor locker, I don't really want to customize my gear, do I? Nah, I like her gear. And I want to keep my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So what's out here? I got next year's code enhancements for <gasps> the Alcor kinetic language oh. processing ready for download. I thought it was thing I was excited. Oh, do I have to level it up? Oh yeah, it's on rank two right now. Music. Oh my goodness. I guess we do the talk to him. I'm gonna wait for it to do the bings. We'll let it get done binging. Otherwise it's just gonna bing while I'm trying to do other stuff. Oh, does it really? I didn't know that. Oh I've no. <laughs> the hard copy archive backups to two days from now. Okay. Oh, he's just gonna play stuff from the soundtrack? Nice. What's up, Farron? Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. <laughs> I see you met the secretary. Are we really going to be that significant other? Are we going to come in here and be like... Just so you know. That's my girlfriend. I want to, like, I, I hate that type of person, but I, I really want to see the dialogue. I really do. 
For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. <laughs> I like how we were discreet about it. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, yes. I'm not faulting Liara if they were close. I just think it's funny that Shepard keeps asking about it. Are you holding up, Farron? I'm... I'll be all right. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch, as an example. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync it to your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. Really? What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information trader, not a slaver. How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. <laughs> I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. <laughs> She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI, custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds. But it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. Aww. I wish it would stop calling me that. Oh, the little guy's like, I'm doing my best. So cute. I don't. Yeah, I think that was everything. Take it easy, Farron. Thanks. All right, little guy, are you ready? Wait, is that music gonna play while we listen to the other things? How do I know when it's off? Quiet song then. But I noticed it was on the background when we were talking to Farron. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Oh my goodness. Remember, you can zoom in for more detailed viewing and can pause anytime during playback. Aria Talok, Omega. Oh? Oh, it's the same clip. Okay. Emily Wong, Citadel. Yeah, having a good time. Fred Mazai, Citadel. I don't know who this is. What happens if you zoom in? Oh! You listen here, bucko. Get 
Donnell Udina, Citadel. Oh. <gasps> oh! Armando Bailey, Citadel. He looks sad. David Anderson, <gasps> Citadel. Potato Dad! Praetor Gavon, Omega. Oh. Kalisa bin Sinan Algilani. Citadel. <gasps> oh. Keeper twenty. Citadel. Oh, what's he doing? What's that lying on the bridge? Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. That looks an awful lot like Liara. It, it has to be because she's the only one that has eyebrows. Why are you looking at a picture of Liara? Huh. Er not Torsk, Tachanka. Oh. That's a Solarian. Oh no, oh, oh no. Elias Kellum, Omega. Oh! Jacob Taylor, Normandy, SR2. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate that they've reduced this man to working out. Subject zero. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. She's gonna be so pissed. Okay, this is old footage. Okay. I was about to say, that's current footage. She's gonna be hella upset. Aria Talok. Omega. There we go. Wild. Oh, I can check for more There's videos. Been no more news of Liara Tassoni's movements on Ilium. Well, yeah, that's because she's here, little guy. Bye, Farron. I hope you feel better, hun. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely come back for more stuff when we've done other things. Anything else to talk to Liara about? Thanks for coming by. Oh, okay. Feel bad. I guess that's it. He is a cute little VI. Yep. Wow. I did not expect to spend that much time looking over the other thing. I thought we were gonna go like, maybe have a 15 minute conversation with her. Dang. Okay, so now that we've done all that DLC, it might be a good idea to go and talk to all of our friends. Oops, boat now. Let's make sure we've got nothing here. Oh, actually I'll 
Let's go see. Yeah, you're super welcome. I hope it wasn't boring. <laughs> Commander, can I help you with something? Oh, I don't... I'm not sure he's got anything else for us. I don't think he does. Well, we can try. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. Oh, yeah. We live, we'll get loud, and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. Well, maybe Morden will sing again? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Oh. Anything else? I love when he breathes in like that. Like he's just steadying. Reaching homo homeostasis? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Um, well, it looks like we don't get to go chat with people. Oh well. What we do need to do... I haven't done it today. Oh my god. I wish they would release his little ditty. Mm. Gonna smooch our picture of Liara. Oh look, we got the big old shadow broker thing behind her. So it looks like we're missing two ships. Aw, Savage Sindane, thank you. Alright, so now. I know, but we did smooch the real Liara. But she's busy. We gotta gotta smooch her picture for now. I just like to think that instead of her blushing in the image, what we really did is we just drew like cute anime blush on it, you know, with the three lines. Alright. We've got a lot of exploring to do. I'm daunted by, <laughs> by the amount of exploring we have to do. We have only explored the system 16%. All right, minimizing chat. Answers. A large rock planet, Answers was once under development by a consortium of robot mining interests. But an epidemic of accidents and sabotage cost the lives of hundreds of workers and eventually drove them off the world. Despite numerous accusations among the mining corporations and a dozen or more trials, popular opinion holds that the real saboteurs were never found. Not gonna scan anything. We're really just here to do um, anomaly searches. I just want the exploration credit. I want it to show up in my progress bar. Isa. A rock and ice planet, Isa has a thin atmosphere of methane and ethane. Its borax deposits, largely trapped beneath the ice, were never considered viable enough to mine, synthetic substitutes and alternative sources became widely available. Oh, he's already depleted. Dang. Fifty percent. All right. Thurisas, a hydrogen and helium gas giant. Thurisas has a decrepit automated infrastructure for refueling merchant vessels with helium-3. Painted on the metal in a Salarian dialect are the words self-serve. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, no anomalies there. Kanaz! Its extremely thin atmosphere is mostly methane and helium. The Salarian explorers who named the system set up a small mining presence for recovering nickel and chromium. 
used to making stainless steel. He's got an interesting texture to him. See, we're getting through this really nice and quick. Urwiz, a large rock planet with a pressure cooker atmosphere of nitrogen and argon. Urwiz, silicate rich crust is relatively low density. It was largely ignored by the Salarian explorers who first charted the system. Oh, could you let the nugget out? What? He's just a little boy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Did I scan this? Yeah. Okay. All right. 100%. So... And I'm just waiting for you to type architect. I see you. We have any... Okay, we're full on. We haven't done this one. What is my favorite idiom or expression? Oh no. Merlin, what do I say a lot? I'm trying to think. So my favorite one lately, let me see if I can pull it up. So remember when I had that creepy person uh, comment on my skin? And how much my husband is lucky to be able to caress it? You haven't seen that shit. <laughs> you are going to give someone uh, fuel that I wish you had not for their nightly adventures. <sighs> so remember, remember when I, yeah, talked about that shit? One of my IRL friends said something fucking hilarious to say in it, and I think it's my favorite expression for the moment. He said, May we all live with the undeserved confidence of a mediocre, straight, cis, white man. And I like that one a lot. <laughs> Christina, if you guys want to see... Nugget! He's just upset. Just let him keep the door open. He just keeps breaking in here. He knows how to open the door. Uh, oh yeah, fuck them. If you want to see the um, offending comment, um, it's on Instagram right now in my stories or on Facebook stories. It'll be there for a few more hours. So if you want to catch it, you better do so quickly. Okay. Let's get this shit taken care of. And Tiktra. Fused metal is so named because of its spectacular craters. A planet high in various grades of iron oxide, and Tiktra is regularly pummeled by loose asteroids in the nearby belt between it and Wenrum. The iron melted and fused by the incoming meteors makes for spectacular landscape shots that look alien no matter what part of the galaxy you may be from. However, due to frequent meteor impacts, exploration is considered highly dangerous even to those with advanced kinetic barriers. No anomalies. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really cute icon. Alingon. Deceptive was so named by- ooh, this one's got a big ol' entry. By Salarian scouts because as their probes landed on the planet, their instruments started growing awry. It turned out to be due to the high concentration of magnetically active paraclase, magnesia, in the core and crust of the planet. This interferes with scans and broadcasts, which has given rise to countless space stories of pirates lying in wait in Alingon's magnetosphere, or crashed ships with untold fortunes stranded on the surface. In reality, any pirates would have a hard time locating prey amongst all the interference, and would live lives cut off from the rest of the galaxy if the magnetosphere kills extraplanetary communication. Alingon's other features... Other natural features are a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide, spectacular dry ice formations, and xenon gas which can be skinned from the upper atmosphere and used in ion thrusters. 
All right. No anomalies. Forty-two percent. Tunfigal, first charted by the Salarians. Hard Heart is noted for its platinum and uranium deposits, making robo mining a lucrative activity. While the surface temperature is well within the range of a comfortable EVA version, the extremely dense Tunfigel generates a dangerous gravitational pull five times out of Earth. The Salarian miners exploiting the planet derisively nicknamed planets such as these Elcor tourist traps. Why? I don't get it. Sincer, thank you for the follow. Is it because they like the high gravity? Quorum. A scorchingly hot planet close to its parent star, Quorum was bombarded by comets and asteroids during its earliest geological period. As the solar system stabilized, these occurrences leveled off. So the planet became geologically inactive. Its nitrogen and helium atmosphere is extremely thick due to heavy metals making the planet's core very dense. Unfortunately, these metals are deep below the crest, making mining impractical. Okay, good. I'm glad I, I realized what it was then. No anomalies. Nephros. Restless sleep is a relatively small hydrogen nitrogen gas giant. Its atmosphere is home to spectacular winds of up to 350 kilometers an hour and electrical storms up to 700 times the power of those on Earth. Jeez. Which indicate that its hydrogen clouds contain moderate amounts of water vapor. Hopefully we'll get at least one anomaly today. We're at 85%, which means that I'm missing... Here, here's a boy. <laughs> Wenrum, White Knight, takes its name from a Salarian story in the Romantic period. Of a knight who refused all temptation to riches, carnality, and even flavorful food, until justice was served to the poor and oppressed. The planet is so named because of its white, highly reflective surface, composed mainly of titanium dioxide and ice, and no atmosphere to speak of to dim its albedo. Aw. Nothing there either. 100%. 100%. 100%. Okay. Fuel reserves at 50%. Okay, we should be able to get this one and get down there. Let's see. Where is our unnamed boy? Right here. Yeah, I, it's so annoying when the little planets are right next to the star and you can't see them. Igella. Only known from scan data picked up by space probes, Igella is currently classified as a dwarf planet. Like Pluto. A warm, barren rock. Its thin atmosphere is composed of carbon dioxide and oxygen. Significant alumina deposits in its crust make its density and gravity very low indeed. Alright. Nothing here. That should be a hundred. Yeah, and then we need to head out to the mass relay. We should be able. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so where is the one we haven't touched? Right here. Apparently, it's a garden world in its last stages of habitability. While its soil still supports agriculture, its animal biodiversity has fallen to record lows. And the most successful remaining life is toxic blue-green algae, an insect-like pest species. Ugh. A large Salarian colony is trying to restore biodiversity to the planet, but setbacks are a fact of life. Mineral and fuel mining remains lucrative, however. And Aaron Lee has a thriving spaceport that refuels many ships passing to the Terminus systems. Nope. Yeah, Edie does announce it, but I want to make sure that she announces it. I think she announces it when you start the scanner. So I always try to make sure to start the scanner. Okay, we 
we can head in there. I'm not doing the N7 missions, I'm just finding them. I actually have quite a lot to do. Okay, so these... Disable Geth device. Why is that one only 33? These should all be 100. 100, 100. So why is this one not 100? it's got these. Okay, we're not going to do the mission, but I want to get it explored. I probably figured that I would do it when I was going to do the mission, but it bugs me that I've got everything on the right side taken care of, but this one. This guy kind of looks pink. Oh, Violet. Viressa. With an orbital period nearly two millennia long, the cold and distant Viressa was actually missed in the initial Asari survey of the system. Only a follow-up mineral assay sent to Kenalis by a Volus mining concern noticed its subtle movement amongst the stars. Viressa is a methane ammonia ice giant, circled by a retinue of deep frozen moons. This remoteness makes it a popular drive discharge point for pirates working in the Pylos Nebula cluster. In the last two years, several dozen ships have disappeared while passing through the Dorada system. This Pylos is currently unclaimed by any sovereign power. Council naval patrols are few and far between. Thus far, none of the pirates responsible have been apprehended. Alright. No anomalies. Alright. Let's get the ringy boy over here. Sinius. Standard. Hydrogen helium gas giant. At 80 moons. And no anomalies. Did it put me at 100? Yes. Alright. Let's try to at least get these two. We'll just get this system. <gasps> no, we forgot to refuel! Oh, I mean, we're here now. Fucking rip. Can't believe I forgot to be full. Nataza. I know, but now I'm annoyed. I should have known better. An unremarkable methane ammonia. <laughs> That's so mean to call them unremarkable. Gas giant. Nataza would be of no consequence if it weren't the only approachable gas giant in the Satan system. Wow, so mean. Boros Volos Colony has set up a few automated ice cracking stations around the planet, and Naru Combine has been contracted to set up a helium-3 extraction facility. Construction has lagged due to the CEO's arrest and a kickback scandal that reaches to the highest levels of the Vol Ministry. Well, that's a thing. Ooh, this boy's really pretty and green. Boro. Boro is a young Volus colony world settled in defiance of a threat by Terminus pirate group. Pirates who can't use the word themselves. A suggested the Volus hire them to protect the colony. The Volus responded by requesting military protection from their Turian allies. Although uncomfortably hot by Volus standards, Boro has the rare combination of high pressure and ammonia ecology Volus require. The development of the colony is proceeding rapidly. I see Rick and Morty? Of course I've seen Rick and Morty. Alright. Rysaris. Ooh, he's so pretty! He looks like a little jawbreaker. An airless rock of mixed light ores. Rysaris is only of note for the Terranu impact crater. Is he turning just a little bit? Yeah, but I don't know where the crater is. A relatively recent asteroid strike within the last million years. It's recent? Core, the object was partially composed of element zero. It struck at a low enough velocity that the Ezo remained near the surface. Over the years, many pirates and wildcat miners have attempted to extract the ore. Is it sad that I just thought about like a high school municipal? If they have miners, that's that's the kind of miners that are coming here. 
It is believed the Terran Yun debris originated in the Pulsar system. Supernova that formed the Pulsar also created the Red Emission Nebula that human spacers have unofficially named the Sakura Nebula. Well, I'm here for that, at least. All right. Only a few more. <gasps> Wait. Wait. He's like right in it. Yeah, Iwasabi! Wrestle. It's a massive, hot Jupiter gas giant that whips around the star Satan once every four and a half days. Like most planets of its type, it migrated inwards from its initial position in the system, about to be around 0.3 AU. Wrestle is one of the few close orbiting gas giants to show a marked temperature difference in its sun facing and dark side hemispheres. The atmosphere absorbs and re-radiates Satan's heat too quickly for winds to carry the heat to the dark side. There's a temperature difference of what? Over a thousand degrees between the gas giant's hot and cold poles. Dang. I would hope there aren't any anomalies there. I'm not sure we could hang out. It's very hot. Anetia. It's a small ice body with very low density. Its mass is only, wow, 4% that of Earth. It appears to be composed mainly of carbon and water ice, but over the millennia it has accrued a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. While Anetia's gravity is weak enough that a cruiser could land on it safely, there's no particular reason one would want to. Pirates have been known to land to recover ice for cracking into hydrogen and oxygen. One area in the southern hemisphere, the so-called Anetian scrapes, is so frequently used for this purpose that higher albedo raw ice can easily be seen from orbit. Cool. Man, are we not going to get a single anomaly today? Well, fucking... Oh, that's right. We gotta... We have exhausted our fuel supply. It I will just... use FTL to get us to a fuel station. Well, and today is a lore dump. My brain. Ooh, he's kind of pink. All right. Yeah, basically. Oh no, it was the palladium Leora gave us. The best palladium. Geus is another methane ammonia gas giant, very similar to its near twin, Uzin. It presents a nearly featureless robin egg blue face to the universe. I would like a re- a reactor. Oh my god. I would like an anomaly, please, so... Leave. Natus. It lies improbably close to the red dwarf, Viceroy. Good night. This allows it to approach habitability, although it's quite frigid. It is entirely locked with hot pole and cold pole. A lawn terminator, the temperature averages just above freezing. On the lee side, the temperatures are well below. Nidus has developed a limited native ecology. Nidus? Nidus? Much of it clusters permanently attached around geothermal vents. There are, however, more advanced forms of life. Several arthropodal herbivore species wander back and forth across the Terminator, as they require nutrients available in both environments for sustenance. More dangerous are the omnivorous predator species that devour the arthropods. Most animal life on Natus has a limited vision, but finely developed thermal sense. Every time it talks about those, I just think of the creepy little uh, antelopes with arms, and I don't like it. Theonax. Theonax's surface is covered by water and ammonia hydrate ices, which are constantly repaved by cryovolcanic processes. The world's size and density suggests the core contains heavier elements and retains much of the heat of the system's formation.
Uzin. Typical methane ammonia ice giant. Uzin has 37 moons of various size. Chithes, one of the largest, orbits at a retrograde, suggesting it was a planetesimal. Don't know what that is. It was captured by the gas giant Gravity Well. The planet itself is believed to be an extrasolar capture as well, though millions of years before Chithes came on the scene. Evidence collected by planetary geologists. Geologists. Suggests that Chithes was, for many centuries, a water world, heated by tidal flexing as its orbit circularized around Uzin. The planetary ocean, once hundreds of kilometers deep, must now be frozen solid. Aww. <laughs> oh my goodness. 92. Thank you. Some have recommended drilling test bores to see if life ever developed in the seas, but the question is considered academic. Y'all, I'm gonna be sad if we don't get an anomaly in the system. I think we only have one more planet here too. Tenoth. It's little more than a glorified ice dwarf that has drifted inwards from Priseroy's Oort cloud over the millennia. Its extremely elliptical orbit is ultimately unstable. Computer projections suggest it will impact the atmosphere of Gaius in a few million years. No! Rip! This guy was far away. Only half our fuel remains. Thank you, Edie. Let's fuel up just so I don't forget for next time. Because that's something I would do. Where do we want to head next? Okay, so we have basically everything over here. About this one. Ugh. 14, 0. Five. Ugh. Yeah. That one's got a hundred. That one's got zero though. What about you? I feel like we gotta do. No, that one's a rival. Well, he he gets to be done when it's his turn. I don't wanna fuck shit up. Oh, uh, I guess we can just go counterclockwise. Which one needs to be done? This guy? Yeah. <gasps> oh, this is where the migrant fleet is. How cool. Okay, I probably will end it here. I know we're 15 minutes early, but it's a... I've been reading for almost three hours straight. So. Um... I don't know how much of the planet scanning I actually want to do. Like, I want to get the 100%, don't get me wrong. But I'm worried about doing IFF and then not having time to read the rest of the planet. Because I, I don't know what the timer ticks down to or for or what causes it. You're so welcome, guys. But I'm wor I feel like I need to do all of this beforehand. Oh, I can? Okay. So what counts is, is, is like the N7 stuff a mission? Can I do stuff? I don't know, see, like, I wanna play this as blindly, blindly as possible, but I also don't wanna ruin my first playthrough because I don't understand the mechanics. Okay, so, what if... Can I do all the N7 missions after whatever the timer thing is? So I know that IFF is gonna start something and I'll have to go do that. Can I do the N7 stuff end game or do I have to do them all beforehand? Oh, okay, I was so worried that I wouldn't be able to do those. 
Oh, okay. Well, fuck. Um, shit. Maybe. Maybe we do IFF next then. Yeah, yeah, I got y'all. So we'll do IFF, and I don't need to do the two missions. I can just do whatever else is required of me. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, but, but, I am taking next week off. Not because I celebrate, well, Christmas particularly, um, but I <laughs> haven't taken any time off since I started doing this in July. So, um, we'll, what date is that exactly? So I can give you guys something definitive. So not next week. So that would be the 29th. 29th is going to be when we have the stream next. All right, well, no, we still have Saturday stream, which we're playing Portal 2 right now. Yeah, I don't know when, when is winter, winter solstice exactly? Is there, is there a specific day that is winter solstice? Is this gonna be a mark? on my map my map oh it's december 21st ah oh. well there we go i'm taking the week off for solstice <laughs> um there we go i can celebrate that that's secular thank you guys i appreciate it yeah i just like i've got a cosplay i really want to work on that i haven't been able to put time towards because i've been doing this so much and i love doing this but i, I also want to be able to work on other things um so I'm going to take the week off. I'm hopefully going to make some really good progress on that cosplay. So I can have that ready for the end of the month. Um, yeah, I do have chat lag. I actually have Max chat lag, I think. I think Jastaris put it on six seconds, and I haven't had the heart to change it. Um, so Saturday, we'll be playing Portal 2, if you guys are interested. Um, we're only two hours in, so... We just got, we've been doing a few of GLaDOS's um, initial tests. I think we just met back up with Wheatley, just barely, if I remember correctly. So it's really cool. And if I may say so myself, I'm pretty good at the puzzles. I mean, it helps to go to law school and have like very logical problem solving methodologies ingrained into your brain okay so saturday is the last time look wasabi <laughs> I, what am i gonna do it though when am i gonna do it i want to do it and i i might stream if i feel like it i might just like put my uh extra camera in my cosplay room and we can chat while I work on my cosplay. I'll do what I want. <laughs> but yeah, Saturday, if you want to show up, that would be great. It's really fun. Um, and I'll, of course, be on Discord and shit because I enjoy chatting with you guys. Um, so. Wow. <laughs> Chaotic good, thank you very much. That would be a lot of fun because that I can like stop and chat a lot more depending on what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I like this clue. That's not my demographic at all. Oh, Jan, thank you. That's very, very sweet. You're super welcome. Um, Portal mod game? I'm not sure what that is, honestly. I am gonna be playing co-op with Merlin once we get done with the single player campaign. But, um, and then, I, oh god, I don't know. It's hard because I'm trying to get this new hardware set up um, so that when I'm streaming, I have another dedicated computer that also records my face cam and the game without the overlay so I can start editing these videos for YouTube. Because right now I don't edit a damn thing. I just don't have the time or the capacity. It would take me so long. And honestly, for a lot of this, there's not too terribly much to edit. 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't mind giving that a look-see. Uh, the portal pl portal flash game, that is. So, I'm working on getting that a hardware set up, and I don't really want to start new games until I have that finished. Because I'm going to have to keep the overlay for, like, Mass Effect 2, but when we start Mass Effect 3... No, you're fine, Iwasabi. I'm clearly... I, well, I hope... I hope it was clear that I was playing and being silly with you. Yeah. Yeah, I just, like... Can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Half-Life. I've been hearing a lot about Half-Life 2 in the Portals 2 comment section. People want me to play that. I don't know anything about it. Um, but I can look into that, too. I need to start forming, like, a comprehensive list for you guys of of games to play because people keep making requests and I just have like my own mental list so I need to come up with like a actual one okay is that everything I'm working on more emotes Icarus it has been really busy it's we got the one out um, we're working on more we're working on 14 more to be precise um, we talked about the week off I think I think that's it. Portal on, on Saturday. I hope I have a good night too, I'm sure. And I hope you have a good night. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, I'm gonna go fucking sleep. I'm gonna go sleep and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna cuddle with all my cats. Because they do all sleep on the bed except for Astley's. It's really hard sharing a bed with four cats and a husband. Like... Jazz and Streeples sleep up near my head and they vie for whoever gets closest. Sometimes they sleep like one, two, and sometimes they sleep one, two, and that's really annoying because they take up so much room. But there's no room for Nugget, so he sleeps on top of us. On top. Nicola, thank you very much. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna go cuddle with my little uh, menace boy. Make him snuggle and sleep like a normal baby, not on top of people. Okay, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>